Zuhai Air Show is a comprehensive international aerospace exhibition held by the State Council China in Zuhai Biennale. The event is characterized by physical display of aircraft, academic exchanges and flight performances. It has both military research value and extract great interest from masses from around the globe, especially aviation enthusiasts. Zuhai in southern China becomes an even more bustling metropolis as the port city plays host to the Biennial Air Show China, commonly known as the Zuhai Air Show. Since 1996, Air Show China has successfully taken place for many sessions in a row. The recent and 13th Air Show China was held from 28th September to 3rd October 2021. A total of 700 companies participated in the event, both online and offline, with more than 100 aircrafts being exhibited. The show highlighted the country's efforts to improve homegrown aerospace technology. Additionally, with the rising interest of global aerospace companies, today the event has grown into the largest defense and aerospace exhibition in the Asia-Pacific region. Military and aircraft aficionados flock to this event every two years since it is one of the only real chances to see PLA Air Force aircraft, helicopters, radars and other PLA equipment. Airshow China is aimed at vigorously promoting the development of the world's aviation and aerospace technology, intensify international exchange and cooperation and make people around the world benefit from achievements in the field. Chief of the Air Staff, Pakistan Air Force, Air Chief Marshal Zaheer Ahmed Babar Sidhu on this occasion in his online address appreciated the efforts of Chinese government for successful conduct of Airshow 2021 in addition to highlighting the ever-growing military and strategic cooperation between Pakistan and China, especially in the field of aviation. Bismillah rahman rahim Commander PLA Air Force, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. At the outside, I would like to thank Commander PLA Air Force, General Ding Lei Heng for inviting me to speak at the International Military Flight and Training Conference 2021. Indeed, I feel honored to participate in the conference. No doubt, China has been our all-weather friend and strategic partner. I am glad that with every passing year, Pakistan-China relations is going a notch higher. CPAC, ladies and gentlemen, and GF-17 program remain a flag bearer and true manifestation of this everlasting friendship between the two nations. Our countries, as indeed our Air Force, have always stood by each other in every thick and thin. The existing global and regional security scenarios coupled with changing dynamic of warfare and change of other dimension of a new technology calls for enhanced partnership between Pakistan and China predominantly in defense and training domains. Together as a brother, we can effectively respond to any challenge which puts our regional security at risk. Ladies and gentlemen, Technology is transforming as we all aware that the battle frame or the space or the, the warfare as changing its own dimension. The battlefield of tomorrow, China has made tremendous strides in all technological spheres and more so in the field of cutting edge technologies, niche and disruptive technologies, aviation technologies, as your neighbors and brother. Ladies and gentlemen, we in Pakistan feel proud of you. China is today indeed the leading field of research and development in aviation with this good appreciation of visualization of a non-contact warfare paradigm and changing environment of a battlefield. I must acknowledge and appreciate Chinese development in the field of state-of-art next generation fighter aircraft and other technologies along with capable force multipliers capabilities in the field of electronic warfare, 
unmanned aerial system, both UAVs and UCAFs, weaponry, space, cyber, and predominantly in the artificial intelligence domain. Ladies and gentlemen, absorption of technology comes with training as our air forces have been partner and trained together. I have over the years witnessed a great transformation in PLA Air Force, which today is on a leading global trajectory. I have nominated, ladies and gentlemen, the Chief Project Director, we have 17 program, Air Vice Marshal Ahsan Rafiq, to dwell on the topic, the role and of science and technology in flight training. Certainly, this platform provides an opportunity for linking together, sharing ideas, as well as benefiting from each other experiences. I would once again compliment the PLA Air Force and its leadership for virtually organizing this highly useful uh, platform. Long live Pakistan-China friendship. I thank you all, ladies and gentlemen.